जयंती का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी आर पेइंग आर ट्रिब्यूट टू फ्रीडम फाइटर ऑथर थिंकर एंड पोलिटिकल लीडर राम मनोहर लोहिया who left us on 12th October in 1967 Lohia was born on 23rd of March 1910 at Akbarpur in the then Faizabad district of Uttar Pradesh His father was a great follower of Mahatma Gandhi and at an early age itself Ram Manohar leaned towards Gandhian philosophy and turned a satyagrahi at the age of 10 During school days Lohia launched a campaign against textbooks which described Shivaji as a bandit king and later joined protest against Simon Commission After completing graduation from Calcutta University Lohia went to Europe for further studies While in Europe Lohia attended the League of Nations Assembly in Geneva India was represented by the Maharaja of Bikaner a well-known favorite of the British Raj Lohia took exception to this and launched a protest from the visitors gallery. He sent several letters to editors of newspapers and magazines to clarify the reason for his protest. The whole incident made Lohia a recognized figure in India overnight. Lohia helped organize the Association of European Indians and became the secretary of the club. The main focus of the organization was to preserve and expand the Indian nationalism outside India. Lohia wrote his PhD thesis paper on the topic of salt satyagraha focusing on Gandhi ji's socio-economic theory. Lohia was attracted to socialism and helped lay the foundation of Congress Socialist Party in 1934. Lohia was arrested and sentenced to 2 years in prison when he wrote the article Satyagraha Now in Gandhi ji's newspaper Harijan on June the 1st 1940. He was mentally tortured and interrogated by his jailers but in December 1941 he was released along with other leaders by British authorities in a desperate attempt to destabilize India internally During the Quit India movement in 1942 when prominent leaders were jailed Lohia carried out operations from underground Lohia along with freedom fighter Usha Mehta broadcast messages in Bombay for 3 whole months from a secret radio station called Congress Radio before detection he revived the movement in Kolkata and later fled to Nepal to evade the british however he was captured in may 1944 lohia was taken to a prison in lahore but under gandhi ji's pressure he was released as india's tryst with freedom neared hindu muslim strife increased Lohia strongly opposed partitioning India in his speeches and writings. He appealed to communities in riot torn regions to stay united, ignore the violence surrounding them and stick to Gandhi ji's ideals of non-violence. Lohia comforted the Mahatma on partition issue and remained beside Gandhi ji as a son would remain beside a father in the hour of crisis in the aftermath of independence. Dr Lohia was the first to introduce the idea of unification of some 650 Indian princely states together to form larger states an idea which was later successfully executed by Sardar Patel first home minister of India after independence Lohia made his indelible mark in democratic India as a great thinker and parliamentarian and a fighter for the cause of minorities lower classes and women During his last few years besides politics he spent hours talking to thousands of young adults on topics ranging from Indian literature politics and art Lohia died on October the 12th 1967 in New Delhi he left behind no property 
or bank balance but prudent contemplations. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.